For the last few weeks, or months, I guess, I have been working on the winter version of my Animal Crossing Island. A lot of people will do a holiday theme in the winter, but um, obviously that ship has sailed. And I guess once the holidays pass, so does the festive spirit. I tried to make a few holiday areas when I was riding that Christmas high, but Honestly, I'm not sure that I'm feeling it anymore. I keep trying to toy with different aesthetics. Do I want to do a white winter island? Do I try to go a little bit more cottage core? Do I emulate some of the amazing designs that I've seen online? Well, I definitely attempted, but nothing was really sticking for me. I felt like I couldn't create anything that I liked enough until somebody recommended a Valentine's Day Island. I spent the last few days going ham on certain areas of my island to really test this design idea out. I've been trying to use pinks and reds and just really bring some life and color to this drab white winter. And I think I got it. So what do I want to do in today's video? I figured we could give my villagers yards a lovey dovey makeover. They're sort of sticking out because obviously the colors are super fall-y. But before we get started, I will have you know that I changed the exterior of each and every villager house to match this Valentine's Day theming. I can't even lie, this is a huge waste of belts considering it costs 9,000 for each renovation. But most of the houses to be honest didn't really need any renovating. <laughs> this just shows how dedicated I am to this Valentine's Day idea. I say worth it. The first house that we're going to be renovating is dear old Lyman's. Lyman is my jock villager, my only one, and I've always made him like the plant guy, the resident plant dude, and he's maybe going to sell some flowers here at his house now. Instead of having this little pumpkin patch, I was thinking we would have a mini flower field, and there's that cute flower display case item, so I have to use it. So welcome to Lyman's flower shop. It's not quite here yet, but it will be in a moment. I also would love to put a little flower bed somewhere. It could be really cute up here instead of farm stuff, so maybe I'll just go ahead and yoink that now. I also have to make a decision about this green fencing. I obviously don't want to use it because it's green and that's, that's not going to work. I'm using a lot of reds and pinks for the fences, some whites as well. It's just hard because like it's so hard to bring color to the drab sad winter. It's so ugly. I know for a fact that this island, once I'm done with it, it's going to look infinitely better if I go time travel to when the snow is melted, which makes me sad. But you know what? It's the reality that I live in right now. So I made this all a beautiful pink and red and white flower bed. Obviously, some of the flowers still need to grow. But I figured why stop there? I think I can carve out a small little section using these broken up tiles because they have pretty sharp edges just to have little flowers. Don't know how great it's going to look. We'll see. We'll, we'll check back in. You know what? I am really thinking that this works, especially once we have flowers all planted. Look at that. That's so cute. And then on this side, I'm imagining that we're going to have like a flower display case and stuff. I don't know because it's going to be pretty hard to see. So maybe we take some of these flowers out so we can include that up here instead so that it's forward facing and cute. The white is my favorite. I wouldn't mind the natural that much, but you know what? Screw it. Let's do something different. We're going to go with the white lattice fence for this whole little neighborhood. Cute. It's working. Now I do have this table customized with a cloth. Absolutely. And then we have to put some flower stuff on it. My favorite part. Oh, oh, that watering can. She's a little hot, hot pink, but I'm just gonna pretend like it doesn't bother me. Oh, yep. And the windflower fan carrying. I have a few other things too. I have that flower bed, which is super cute. Yeah, you know what? I think it's conveying flower shop. Something I'm not loving this apple tree and I think I'd rather have a peach tree there. So goodbye, apple tree. I'm deciding to move this watering can onto a little crate over here. And then of course I can't wait to show you what everything looks like all grown and everything. And this isn't the full vision yet. <gasps> the love letter there. Okay, wait, I might move it over one more. But yeah, oh my God, <gasps> so stinking cute. I had to extend this flower field all the way. It was just kind of like bothering me. 
but this is it. The only thing I'm not loving is how red Lyman's house is compared to all the pinks. Like it just seems like a weird contrast, but I do have red flowers that are supposed to be growing in. So we'll have to see what it looks like at the very end. Now we must move on to Silvana. Silvana had a fall tea party, but it's all gotta go. We're we're totally rehauling, giving her a complete revamp into a Valentine's themed tea party. I just can't help it. It's just such a cute idea. Like I don't I don't want to stop doing it. Okay, so now that everything is all clear, all good to go, I would really like to just carve out a small space for a table. It's going to be real similar, okay, to the one we just had. Not feeling super confident about this wedding table idea just cuz like it's kind of hard to walk around, but once this tree is grown in, it's going to like cover a lot of it. So, I don't know. I mean, the other option is to to just have it be like more in the middle. Okay, I think that I am liking this orientation. Also, I did this little cherry blossom guy right here. You know, it's it's not right like for the season, but it's okay because it's cute. I have some other stuff that I would love to place over there as well. I don't want it to just be that one table, you know what I mean? I have some really fun custom designs that I would love 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 to put in sylvana's yard okay first of all the love letters kind of love them so i'm gonna be using some og crystal cat magic here oh also i put the wedding arch i think with lots of flowers in the yard it's gonna be pretty banging there was one little food item that I included, I put the wedding cake over here. Why not? I don't know, I got room. Who's gonna stop me? What do we think? I love it. I was gonna add a little table right here and put something on top of it, but like it took away from the little cherry blossom situation. I couldn't have that. I think it turned out beautifully. Uh, personally. Again, there's gonna be a tree on that side, so it's gonna add like a little bit of Zoom. But this is a very pink, very beautiful, very gorgeous tea party slash wedding party, I guess. I don't know. It's the wedding table and there's a wedding arch and a wedding cake. Maybe we're having a wedding party. I know that Silvana would really appreciate her pink yard. Now the next yard. Oh my God. I literally don't have a plan for Marcel's at all. I adore his yard. Don't get me wrong, but I don't know how to um, pink and Valentine's Day affy it. I don't want to take away any of this like cute charm that he has, but I need it to match my aesthetic. My big overarching plan is to just take a lot of this with me to Harv's Island so that I can customize it. Just because I love the concept of having a yard sale. Inside of his house, he has this little vintage store. Yeah, you know what? I am having the hardest time trying to find things that are like already pink, red, white. I found a couple things, but like mm, nothing's things really screaming at me. So more than likely, I am going to have to make that trip over to Harv's, good old Harv's Island. I really only have a couple of items that I want to change the colors of. This is actually a pretty easy project today just because the yards are so small and there's not a whole lot of stuff that you can stuff into them, which I really like because it's super easy and super quick to change them up every time I want to do a whole different theme. Love it. I'm very happy with these results. I think you will be very happy too. It's kind of amazing all of the different customization options that we have in this game. But like, look at that. It really is not difficult to change the color of everything. Oh, I do also miss those papers. Can I fit them? Yes, maybe I don't need that many flowers, but I'm gonna add some anyways. And maybe some finishing touches, I don't know. I was thinking about adding a whole other table back here, but balloons? seems cuter and a little less cluttery. And I like that idea. But yeah, I would say Marcel's yard is pretty much done, except for, ooh, I gotta change that fence out. I'm gonna do that immediately. Imagine if I forgot. I would be upset with myself forever. Dang, okay. It's very, very pink. Is it pinker than Sylvana's? Hold up, because that would be unacceptable, but no, you know, it's debatable. It's very debatable. These two yards are very pink and this one is not so pink. I don't think I have a huge problem with that. Overall, it's turning out really, really nice. It's very lovey Valentine's Day themed. I think we should move on to our next set of yards. Gail and Norma will be pretty easy. 
Since they live together, they are a couple. Their yard is already full of flowers. I love, love their yard. It's just so simple. Obviously, the colors of the flowers need to be changed out. Maybe some of these wheat fields could do with some recoloring. I kind of like the fence. I think I'll keep the fence. I was thinking about changing it for the white lattice fence, but I like this. Instead of having a little sitting area, potentially, we might make it smaller with just like two chairs and a little table, or we might be replacing it all together because my main goal for this yard is to make it a beekeeper's yard. I want to have the beekeeper's hives. I want them to be beekeepers now. What are the, I mean, why else would they have all these flowers? I don't know. Like, let's get to work, ladies. Obviously, I got to get rid of all of these. These are the two of the houses I actually didn't have to change at all because Gail and Norma are already pink and white. They have always been my Valentine's girls from the start. Looking beautiful. There was also a cedar tree right where I'm standing here. I decided to plant a peach tree a little bit farther up so hopefully I can have some more room because it's like, you know, it's a little tight in here. There's, there's not a lot of give, right? <laughs> That's just the nature of the area. I haven't terraformed this at all since I made this island, um, since it was given to me. But by Timmy and Tommy. I have just kept most of the natural layout besides a little bit of things here and there. So when I wanted to put these houses here, I kind of underestimated how close we were going to be to the water. Underestimated, overestimated, I don't know. But yeah, it's a lot closer than I thought it was gonna be. So I don't have like a ton of room. I don't want it to feel super cramped, right? I know for a fact I wanna use some of these little honeybees, beekeepers hives. I'm debating on going back to Harv's Island just to get those wheat fields recolored. Ugh, it's just so much work. And this is already going to be a lot of back and forth. All of my flowers are on the beach on the opposite side of the island. Yes. Yes. Oh, this is so cute. Did I put a little bee model over here? Yep. Yep. I don't want to neglect red flowers too. I would like some of those. Not like a lot, but just enough to add a little, a little red pop of color. I don't want to do too much red. Red is like overpowering. I'll add it here and there, but like I'm not too thrilled about it. Okay, looking pretty good, I would say. I'm feeling lazy and I don't want to recolor those wheat fields, but I think that 2023 is the year of not being lazy. <sighs> Bring them over. I will recolor those wheat fields and then maybe I'll change out all of this stuff up here just to make it like consistent, this little walkway. It's worth it. It's worth it. It's worth it. It's worth all the extra work. Plus I can across another small little area off of my list, that little walkway. I'm trying to get this shit done before Valentine's Day. So, I mean, <laughs> I better get to work. But I'm also feeling really inspired by the whole Valentine's Day concept, and so it's not feeling like work. Not like playing Animal Crossing ever is, but sometimes it could be a little bit daunting to like think about all of the things that I want to accomplish in such a short time frame. That's why I like having my island be relatively similar throughout most of the seasons, because it's like, you know, Okay, I can recolor stuff here and there. I can totally change this area here and there, but like in general, my island layout stays the same. It'll look really cool during cherry blossom season two. I might show you that when I do my final island tour, just pop on over and see what it looks like. The more I look at it, the more I'm like, I don't really want to replace any of these flowers with wheat fields. It looks really good. But I did replace the wheat fields that were down here, and now I just have these pale ones that I recolored from up here um, for something else. I don't know, they'll probably come in handy someday, but this is pretty much it. The final result, obviously with only some of the flowers being buds and that tree is missing, but overall, I would consider it a win. We have another joint yard that I am very excited about the concept for. This is Toby and Monty's yard. When I recolored their houses, I decided to do the same thing for both houses just because I, I thought it was fun. I thought it was a cool idea. I would love to make a romantic garden. Now, I haven't yet figured out if they're together or not, but no matter what, a Valentine's Day island cannot not have a romantic garden. And this yard has been super neglected for a super long time. It really needs a makeover. Really not helping that Toby has been chilling, just doing nothing. Oh, and Monty's here too. Okay, everybody's just gonna get in my way today. That's fine. Once this is all cleared out, hopefully they'll find something else to do. Now I have a gazebo. Where I'm gonna place that gazebo is the question. Also, I have a pink one and a white one. Pink is just, it kind of seems like a lot with the houses behind there being 
pink as well. The white is pretty, you know, it's a little bit off from the white on the houses, but I guess I can get over that. I feel like the pink actually looks better than the white just because the white and the off-white is kind of throwing me off. You know what I mean? But also it might just be the lighting in the game right now. I went and recolored this pergola, pergola, pergola. Um, oh, you know what? This is better. Would it be better up there? And then what if we had a cute little sitting area? I tried to redo some of this fencing. I definitely want to add in some flowers. Not sure how I'm feeling about the pathing right now because I don't know, I just kind of want something a little bit more minimal. So maybe I'll get rid of some of this, but... What are we thinking? Looking pretty cute. I really should figure out what I'm gonna do with this pathing. Hmm. I truly think that we are getting somewhere. I have mapped out the structure and I just have a couple of things that I would like to craft and customize, but I can't wait to show you. I think it looks good where we are right now. This is where I'm planning on putting a table and some chairs. I have these little flower walk-ups that I thought was pretty. I wanna put flowers and wheat fields and stuff everywhere. I had to extend this dirt out because I really wanted the fence on this side to match this side and I was using that industrial type of fence earlier and I just feel like it doesn't really go with my specific garden vibe so it was a no for me and I'm not super loving table and chairs combo right now do we like this little fence in the middle kind of like a privacy fence or something. I thought it was a creative idea. Not to toot my own horn or anything. I just thought it was cute. Now I just want to fill this with tons of flowers. I just have to plant a lot of flowers that aren't grown yet. And also you can't plant in here, in this little pocket. Um, I'm gonna have to figure something out like custom design wise over there. Wow. You know what? Not bad. Not bad. I'm sad that the gazebo didn't work out, but I just felt like it was so bright and contrasty. Like I just wasn't a super big fan. Oh, I have one more thing to do. Because speaking of the bright white, I think the table actually looks fine. I also planted some of those bright white flowers. So hopefully that'll like help us a little bit. I just felt like the white gazebo, like I can put that in a lot of places and it'll look just fine. And since it's a romantic garden for Valentine's Day, I'm putting a chocolate heart. I think this is my first chocolate heart that I've placed on the whole island, which is alarming because it's a Valentine's Island. <laughs> All right, on to the next. We have just one more big block of houses to do. So I have Tangy's house here. Tangy has always had this farmer's market. I think it just needs to be cutified and made pink. like. I've always really, really loved her yard and I love slightly changing it for the seasons, but like, I don't know, she's got a pink house now instead of an orange house. I think it's just time that we move on from the orange and we go pink, baby. For Punchy's yard, I never really know what to do with him. I just kind of have kept this for a while, but I was thinking we could have a little area for him to sit down and write love letters. Like imagine he had like a crush on the island or something. Hey, you know what? Maybe it's Shino. Maybe he's asking Shino to come to her tea party in her front yard, which is what we're going to be keeping possibly. I wanna incorporate cherry blossoms again though. Chino has historically had cherry blossoms in her yard. I just had to get rid of them for the fall and I'm sad that they had to go, but obviously it did not fit with like the overarching fall plan. So you know what? They're coming back. We can work on all three of these like simultaneously really because I got to change out all these fences. We got a lot to do. Cute, loving the red fences with the pink houses. Oh, one thing that I did forget to mention, Punchy was sick when I was doing all the house renovations and I was like, mm, I'm a little busy. I don't really want to bring you medicine. So Tom Nook actually wouldn't let me renovate Punchy's house because he was sick. Fun fact, I guess. Punchy's house did not change. I would love to give him like a red roof or a pink roof, but maybe I'll do that later. This is not gonna change much. <laughs> um, I just think like some of the colors could be switched around. Obviously, I think that this tree could just be a peach tree. Oh, I don't have any peaches. Hey, let's go get some peaches. And uh, these bushes need to be changed out. This is a mess. It's a total nightmare. For Tangy's house here, you know, I'm pretty happy with a lot of this furniture. Oh, I forgot the peach. Dang it, I forgot the peach that I wanted to plant to make a peach tree. It's midnight, all right? <laughs> I'm just trying to finish this because I think that I want to take my game and play laying horizontal. Okay, we are peached up, ready to plant. Boom. We got pink flowers, we got white flowers. I think we got some red bushes planted somewhere. 
We're looking gravy. I'm gonna do a peach pie instead of that orange jelly. Ooh, not sure how I'm feeling about that veggie basket. How about let's do a birthday cake? Oh, that's two cakes right next to each other. Not gonna work. Peach jam. Mm-hmm. And birthday cake. Awesome. Loving the snack bread with the cute faces on it. No notes. Do I want this stinky fish here? No, that's not very romantic. And this is like a Valentine's Day island. Goodbye, stinky fish. What can I put in your plate? I'm just, I'm gonna do it. I'm doing the wedding cake instead. A apparently it's just all cakes here. That's fine with me. I would rather it just be a cutie farmer's market with only cute things in it. I do want to recolor that milk can. I just like don't want to go all the way over there. Why? Why does this happen to me every time? Well, let's see. You know what? Maybe I could grab a couple of things and bring them over to recolor. You know, I, I see a couple of items. I'm not happy about it, but I will. I will do that. How many times have I been to this damn island? Okay, I'm back. It didn't take me very long, so I have nothing to complain about. Unfortunately, Unfortunately, there were no cute colors of the fish container because no matter what, it's just not a cute item. And you know what? It doesn't belong in my adorable little farmer's market. We are looking good. Um, I think that this one is done. Yeah, you know what? Let's move on. I recolored this retro transportation stop. However, it hasn't really been servicing my island all too well. I might replace it with just like a different kind of bench. I don't know. It There's just something about it that's just not right. It doesn't really um, feel like it's bringing the romance. I've also been using this white version of the fence in a lot of areas. And to be honest, I just don't feel like it's the vibe. I don't know why I don't really like it. The pink is like super hot pink. I, I don't like that at all either. But I'm imagining a table, a chair, and some sort of writing utensil. Now here's the thing, is I wish I had the item that's called homework set. I wish I had that. Um, I don't. <laughs> and I'm not gonna go get it. What I did have was the painting set. I think it's kind of hilarious to imagine Punchy sitting down, trying to write a love letter, and then it's, it's painted. It's not even written written with paint. It's cute to me. So I'm sticking with it. I think I'm gonna allow Punchy to keep his fly. You know, lazy villagers like bugs. So that's just kind of been his personality trait since he's been here. He is my favorite villager. You know, don't get me wrong, you guys. I love the guy. All right. You know what? I really like this color combo. I think it'll look even better too when I can get to his house and work some magic there with the house colors. But look at that. He's painting his love letters. Okay. Yeah. With some flowers and this really Really cute strawberry milk custom design. I had to have it. You know what? It's it's looking pretty good. Um, I think I'm ready to walk away. Let's do our last house here. Why is this yard such a mess? Can somebody explain it to me? First off, I have some items that I would like to put back as well as some items that I brought out. I laid them out in the ground so that I don't forget that I wanna use them. I have a couple of table and chair combos that I would like to try. First one being with this little footrest. I was gonna use this bench as a table, but I don't know why I hate that. It's so ugly. Bring the bamboo bench out. God, has she ever let us down? Like, I really don't think so. What if we did two chairs on this side? Oh. Oh, and the cinema roll tray, of course. Is there any other tray we could have used? No, I'm gonna add red too, cause like I think that'll complement what we're trying to do here really well. Hey, I did also get cherry blossom stuff, cherry blossom pond stone, bonsai, branches, and I got an umbrella. The cherry blossom branches are huge, so I don't even know if I can place them. Oh, I can. And you know what? It's fine if they're in the corner. Pond stone, are we even, does it, we even, we don't even know it's there. Hey, it's starting to seem like a no. Just feel like I need to adjust some of this pathing. And I missed that wheat field. Maybe I need to add more wheat fields. Also, would it be cute to have a little love letter? <gasps> right there. Instead of doing the pond stone, we'll do a bonsai. I kind of love it. It's nice and simple. That's why we love Shino. She's simple. The only thing, this is like kind of sticking out to me. I don't like it that much, but maybe I'll warm up to it. Hopefully you're looking at the final results of all of our yards that we did today. Let me know what you think about the Valentine's Day concept. Are you gonna try to do something similar? If you are doing a similar kind of island, I'd love to hear some ideas. I've got a couple like, you know, I love the romantic garden an idea all throughout. I really want to have a little post office where we can write love letters. Of course, 
any and all ideas are welcome. I have plenty of work cut out for me. I'm super happy with the results here though. Okay, cuties, happy early Valentine's. Thank you so much for watching. If you wanna check out my other socials, I'll probably be working on this island on stream, twitch.tv slash list the last. I hope you're having a great day and you continue to do so. If you liked this video, you might like the other videos where I struggled um, with this winter island design. And we can all look back at those now and be like, wow, look how far we've come. I will see you in the next one.